Final two games. It's all to play for. And it's live. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we've got a couple of big games. We have Kilmarnock at home and Celtic away. Now before we have a look at how we got on, first of all I'd just like to thank you all for joining me today, if I could get that out. Again, as always, support is appreciated. The subscriber number on the channel is growing which is absolute madness, to be honest. Um, I just want to thank you all for your support. Final two games of the season. Um, it's been a good one. It's been hit or miss as well at some points. But let's just dive into it, shall we? So, since you guys last joined us, we played Kilmarnock in the Premiership and we beat them 4-1 at home. It was a huge game. Edmondson had an absolute blinder um, and I'm more than happy with that result there. Since then we played Motherwell and drew three each. It was some game, to be honest. It was a bit of a sickener to have uh, drawn, but a decent performance all round. We then lost 1-0 to Rangers at home, which again, I was quite happy with the performance again. We showed some great, great defending um, and had some good chances as well, but ultimately they beat us a Ryan Kent 75th minute goal was the difference there. And then we played St Mirren, which we won 3-1 away from home day. It's quite, as you can see, quite a heavy first five minutes with goals there. Uh, they scored, well, we scored two minutes in, they scored three minutes in, and then we scored again five minutes in, and Curtis Main sealed the result on the 70th minute. So that leaves us with two games. We have Kilmarnock at home, followed by Celtic away from home. And I know you're asking, well, what relevance do these games have? Well, we currently sit third in the Scottish Premiership. We have qualified for the Europa Conference League, however, you'll be happy to know that Celtic won the Scottish Cup, meaning that third place is a Europa League place. So it's all to play for. Currently we are six points ahead of Motherwell and Kilmarnock, so a point against Kilmarnock and we have solidified our place in the Europa League next season. Rangers have cemented their place at the top of the table, they have won the league with a couple of games to go. Celtic, again, have guaranteed second place, so it's all to play for in third. Um, down the bottom of the league, there's still a bit to play for, to be honest. Hamilton could still save themselves um, in regards to getting into the playoff, and Livingston could still go down automatically. So there's still a few things to play for, um, unless you're St Mirren, who should really be sitting eighth in the table, but thanks to this split, they're still sixth. In terms of transfers, we have one more transfer to tell you about. Reese Williams, the 20-year-old centre-back from Liverpool, is coming in for 200,000 straight-up fee um, and 500,000 in instalments. So a total of 700,000 for him. Um, if we have a look, he is, you know, a centre-back. He's going to be one of those players that will break into the team over the next few seasons. But I thought we definitely need a bit more, you know, with. Ash Taylor leaving, we need that back up as well. Obviously we've got Stuart Finlay coming in, um, who is going to be you know, a more regular starter in that position. Nothing to add in terms of players going out, the same players um, as there were in the last couple of episodes. A couple of things to add, um, Joe Lewis is unhappy that I've not been playing youth players as I promised, so um, he is looking to leave the club, which is not ideal. We're going to try and keep him as long as we can. Andy Constantine is another one for the same reason, is potentially looking to leave, which again, not a great thing, but he is in, reaching the end of his career, so um, not exactly a massive loss ultimately, and we've got some good replacements coming in for him down the line. One bad thing was that uh, Lewis Ferguson came to my door and told me that he wants to leave. He feels he's outgrown the club. I did try and convince him to stay, however, he is looking to be sold. It is an unfortunate one, but with teams like Arsenal and Tottenham looking interested, I doubt we're going to be able to hold on to him. So, this is the team we have going in against Kilmarnock today. We have Joe Lewis in goals, Lee at left back, Hernandez at right back, Considine and Devlin in the middle, Hoban is still out, Ojo, Ferguson and McRory in midfield, Kennedy and Hedges out in the wings, and Big Cosgrove up front. Ryan Edmondson is currently out with an injury. Um, He's going to be out until 
for four weeks by the looks of things. We have extended his loan into next season. So, again, not a massive loss. Um, he's going to miss the last two games. But we've still got Cosgrove. And Main, who came on and scored in the last game, is on the bench. So, let's just jump into it and have a look at the Kilmarnock team, shall we? Right, so there's the Kilmarnock team. Um, very similar to the team that came out last time. Maybe actually the same team. I know that Rossi, we caused him a lot of problems. Um, in general, obviously, Eamon Brophy is the one to watch for. Um, he is the joint top goal scorer in the Premier League with Odds and Edward. So, he is definitely one to watch for. Time to make that team talk. Right, I want us to pick up where we left off. That has motivated a few of the boys, which you'll love to see. Here we go. This is a big game. If we win this or even get a point, we are qualified for the Europa League. So let's just get into it. So here we go. First highlight, Hernandez to Hedges. Hedges, through to Cosgrove. He's through on the keeper. Oh, what's he doing? He still shoots. But he definitely had a chance to get that shot away earlier, which is disappointing. Now... They're coming forward, but we've won it back. Here we go. Great play. Hedges. Cosgrove back to Hedges. Can he score? He can. What a goal. Ryan Hedges. Some beautiful play there from the Dons. That is just what you love to see. Superb goal. His 10th goal of the season. Look at this. Ferguson to Hedges. Hedges to Cosgrove. The 1-2. He's through on goal. Takes one touch and slots it in the bottom left. Let's keep this up, boys. Great start to the game. Great start to the game. Still to get a highlight here, oh, here we go, speak of the devil, long throw, Conts down to Kennedy, keeper saves it, no problem at all for him. Ball up, Lee deals with it, but they're still going to come at us. Malumbu to Power, Power to Hanstrup. Brophy dropping deep to Kilty. We need to be careful here, ball over, Lee deals with it, brilliant, right, Kennedy coming forward. Can we get it away? We can, right, here's McRory. To Hedges. Hedges. Cosgrove plays him through. Can he get the shot away? He can! Cosgrove with the goal. Just before half time, we put ourselves 2 0 up, and that third place spot is looking more and more likely as the seconds tick by. Look at this. Pass into Cosgrove. Gets it around the defender and slots it into that bottom corner. Hedges and Cosgrove looking like a great partnership there. You'll love to see it. And that is half time. We're 2 0 up. We just need to see out the next 45 minutes and we cement our place in the qualifiers for the Europa League. Um, I'm going to pump fists. We're actually outstretched arms. I'm very happy with the way things are. Keep it up, lads. They're all buzzing with that. And let's get into the second half. 2 0 up. Let's go. Right, throw in for Kamarnik. McKenzie here gets past one Malumbu. They're playing a bit like no one's business. Deal with it brilliantly there at the back post. Hedges on the break. He's got Cosgrove ahead of him. He's offside. He slots at home. It's a good finish. Uh, but the pass could have been made just a few seconds earlier. We would have been fine. Kilmarnock coming forward here. McKenzie. Back to Malumbu. We're pushing them back. You like to see it. Just need to be careful of the long ball now. McKenzie. Through ball. Great through ball to Miller. Cross it in. Brophy. And it wouldn't be a Kilmarnock game without Brophy getting a goal, would it? 38th goal of the season. He has had an absolute blinder. I know that someone did mention in the comments that we get him on a free. Unfortunately, Kilmarnock were very smart and signed him up on an extended deal. So, unless I've got an extra few million in the bag, I doubt I'll be getting him anytime soon. He looks very, very, very deadly. Right, 25 minutes to go. I'm going to make a change now. Um... Ferguson is not having a great game and ultimately I think it's because he's got a grumpy on about the fact he wants to leave for a bigger team. Um, I think as well I'm going to bring Calvin Ramsey on um, at right back just for a bit of a change, get the youngster on. Fernandez isn't having the greatest game ever. Right, free kick here, Hedges in a dangerous position. Can he get a goal? Left foot, he swings it in. What a goal from Ryan Hedges. He's having an absolute blinder of a game. That is a superb free kick. And with 20 minutes to go, you've got to think that seals our place in third position. Look at that, the curve on it. Superb free kick. He's someone we need to hold on to next season. Going to drop some praise on the boys. 15 minutes to go and a throw in here to Komarnik in a dangerous position. Malumbu to McKenzie. Millen. Great interception from Ojo. And we're on the break. Cosgrove to McCrory. Hedges, can he play him through? Oh, unlucky. McCrory just didn't 
have that killer ball there. Ramsey tries to get forward. And now Miller's through on goal one-on-one. -on -one. Can he finish it? He can. Liam Miller. Great, great break and a, a decent finish. Right, we need to be careful here, boys. We need to be careful. I'm thinking we make some tactical changes now. Tactics. Um, we'll drop this line a bit. Um, regroup. I think time, same ways where possible as well. Um, substitution wise, how are we looking? I'm thinking Scotty right on for Kennedy. And Curtin's up front. Big bold Curtis. I like here. Come on, coming forward. Kilty. Close him down. Great save. Great save. Was never troubling the keeper there. Holds on to it. Doesn't give him a chance. Couple of minutes to go. Four minutes of stoppage time. Can we hold on? Throw in here. Constantine. He's going to take his time with this one. And he's going to lump it into the box. Right, let's go. Long throw. Campbell. Ojo outside the box. Can't get the shot away. Ramsey now. Plays it back to McCrory. Ramsey again. Trying to find a bit more space. Campbell to right. Right to Lee. Loads of space. Out to Hedges. Can he get the hat trick? He can't. Great save from Danny Rogers. Another throw in here. Constantine's going to take his time. He launches it into the box. Straight into the goalkeeper's hands. 50 seconds to hold on here. And we're in the Europa League. Foul. Is that a red? No. I got excited there. Free kick. Right, take your time, boys. 20 seconds on the clock. Hedges into the box. It's cleared. And now... Come on, come forward. We need to stop this. One on five. Surely we can stop this. McCrory deals with it. Brilliant. And there it is. Full time. Three, two. A great result. And we are in the Europa League. Again, superb win for us. And now we go to Parkhead. Last game of the season. No pressure. We can just go and do our thing. So here we go. It is our final game of the season. It's been a long one. It's been... You know, one with a lot of ups and downs, but it's been overall positive, to be honest. We have solidified our place in third spot. We have got our place in the Europa League. So this game, I mean, doesn't really mean anything, but we're going to go out and give it a go anyway. We're going with the same team as we played against Kamarnik, Lewis and Goals, Lee and Hernandez at the back. Constantine Devlin, the centre-backs. Ojo, Ferguson, McCrory make up the midfield. Could be the last time we ever see Ferguson play in a Don shirt. And Kennedy and Hedges on, on the wings with Cosgrove up front. Um, on the bench, I've put Johnny Hayes back on the bench, coming back from an injury. Might give him a run out at some point. Left back, Niall McGinn is on there. It's his last ever game for the Don, so I might put him on at some point. Um, just to say cheerio to the fans. But there we go, that is our team. We're going to go with a positive mentality. We're going to go at Celtic. If we lose, we lose. It doesn't really mean much, to be honest. We've already got our place in third. So, let's see how Celtic line up, shall we? So, Celtic come into the game with a pretty strong team, to be honest. Um, they've clearly rested a couple of players, though, um, with the fact that they've got um, Dembele, Connell, Sorrow in there. Not necessarily their starting lineup, but still a strong team that should be respected anyway. Um, so let's just get our team talk done and jump into the game. Come on lads, show me what you can do. And they are a strong travelling support for our last game of the season. What has been a pretty successful season I would say for us. The game's underway. Let's get into it. Throw into Selic in quite an attacking position. Dembele to Soro. Soro gives the ball away to Ferguson. Now he's, he's coming right forward. He's through everyone. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. What can he do? He shoots and it's a save. Quite an easy save for Barkas there. But I like that. I like that run we made there. Lewis to Devlin. Devlin plays the ball over the top to Cosgrove. Back to McCrory. Ferguson. Great ball out wide for Kennedy here. He cuts inside. What can he do with it? He shoots. Great save from Barkas. Hey, we are playing quite well so far. Corner kick here. Hedges. Quickly takes it straight to Barkas. Hedge is looking like he's taking a bit of a knock. Let's have a look. So he suffered a tight hamstring, but should be able to play 
through it. We'll keep him on to half time, see how he gets on. Right, free kick here to Celtic. Griffiths swings it in. Julian one on one with the keeper. It's disallowed, he's offside. We're still in it here. Let's watch that again. Yep, he's definitely offside. Just need to be careful of that. He wasn't that far offside. Right, Celtic throw in. Not too far away from half time. Taylor to Rogic. Sorrow through to Griffiths. He shoots and he's hit it just wide. Punch down with the throw. He launches this one in and Barkas. Cam as you like, takes that home. Plays the ball up. Dembele to El Ahmed. Back to Connell. Connell gives it away to Hernandez. McRory to Ojo. Ojo to Ferguson. What options do we have ahead of him? Ojo tries to play out to Kennedy. Strange ball. Griffiths is through and he just hits it wide. I'll take that all day long. And we're just coming into half time now. Can we get there at 0 0? We can. Yeah, this has been a very good performance so far from the Dons. I'm very, very happy with how we've played so far. Taylor to Connell. Rogic goes for the cross. He gives it away to Wright. Wright tries to play up the field, but no one's there. Griffiths back to Rogic. Some good play from Celtic. Rogic is through and he scores. 1 0. Some great play for Celtic. You can't really begrudge that, to be honest. That was some good, good play from them. Again, Soro to Griffiths. Rogic, unlucky with the deflection. Look at that. He's through. And it's a great finish. He was always going to score that. You just knew as soon as he was through. Cam as you like. Bottom right hand side there. Right, half an hour to go. We've got a corner. Hernandez swings it in. Kennedy can't get there. Hopefully we keep up possession here. Ferguson. Ojo. Considine. Good pressure from Celtic here. Ultimately we give away the ball. But Rick Rory to right. Right to Hernandez. Right again. What can we do? He tries to get the ball in. But it's blocked and ultimately cleared. We're coming back at them again though. Ferguson drives into the box. What can you do? He gets past one right. Just over. Unlucky. I think it's substitution time now though. Let's have a look at who we can bring on. I think it's only fair we bring on Niall McGinn for his last appearance in a Don shirt. Johnny Hayes, I'm going to bring him on the left. Um, Dean Campbell on for Funzo Ojo. And that'll do me. Settle coming forward. Johnson, back to Connell. Connell to Dembele. He's through. Can he score? No, he cannot. And that's the end of the season. Again, what was a quite a decent performance, to be honest. Definitely not in shape to that. If we can play like that against Celtic, I can see us picking up some points next season. Um, so I think, when the result aside, it was a pleasing performance, because it was. We got some good chances. We defended well. I think that was, you know, quite a decent performance. Apparently there was some bafflement amongst supporters that we didn't take off Ross McCrory. Yeah, I think if there was a need to take him off, I would have done it. And there we are, that is the final league table for this season. We have finished in third with 66 points. Motherwell just behind us on 60 and Kilmarnock in fifth on 58. Again, I think that was a very successful season to be honest for our first season. Obviously next year we're trying to, you know, get forward a wee bit and try and get into a position where we can challenge for potential Champions League qualifying places but for just now I think we've done very well. There we go, we received 2.06 million for finishing third, that'll do nicely in the old bank balance and that brings the season to an end. As always guys, thank you very very much for watching the video. If you did like it and you've got this far please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for future videos. Next up, obviously, it will be the start of the season and a wee transfer special. Again, appreciate all the support in the video. Links are down in the description for Twitter and Twitch. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.